Tschüss. Bis zum nächsten Mal. And if you haven't guessed already by the wonderful DIYs in the background, this is going to be a Sherlock inspired DIYs video. You already know how much I'm obsessed with Sherlock and now that season 4 is out, oh, the fandomness is so real. So without further ado, let me show you guys how I made those DIYs. First DIY, we're going to create this quaint 221B Baker Street sign because, well, Sherlock is kind of obsessed with revealing where he lives. The name Sherlock Holmes and the address is 221B Baker Street. Afternoon. To start off with the DIY, take a wooden board and paint it white. Uh, my wooden board was larger than I wanted, so I sectioned off a part for the actual sign. I first penciled my design and then began to outline 221B in big block letters. Then taking a thinner marker, I wrote out Baker Street in a sans serif-esque font, 2019th century kind of font, you know, to make it look kind of old, quaint, whatever. I then created a line underneath the street address and wrote out residence of Mr. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. John Watson. And just to add a bit of fun, I wrote out, the game is on. I then proceeded to shade in my 221B sign, and to add a final touch, I glued on this golden crown. I'm sure Sherlock would be proud. And now you're done! Hang the sign on your door so that you'll be the 21st century's consulting detective. not all have a Mrs. Hudson, we can all still take a little tea break occasionally. And yes, the only reason I added these clips is because they were just too aesthetically pleasing. Our second DIY is just well, another piece to add to your Sherlock fandom. To start off, I printed out the silhouettes of Sherlock and Watson and cut them out. I then took double-sided tape and applied it to the back of the silhouettes so that they will stay in place when I trace them. Once your silhouettes are taped down, take a pencil and lightly trace around your silhouettes, making sure to take extra caution when you're getting all the curls of Sherlock's hair because man does he have a lot. Once that's done, peel off your silhouettes and then take a thin marker and go over your pencil sketch. Then take a thicker marker and begin to shade in your silhouettes. You can also use paint, but I think I had greater control with a marker, so I just stuck with a marker. I then added tiny details to my signs, such as established in 1887, which was a year when the first Sherlock Holmes um, story came out. And then, of course, I wrote the game is on because, well, we all know how much Sherlock loves to say that. The game, Mrs. Hudson, is on. Our final DIY is this unique and amazing Sherlock light box. I already filmed how to create a light box in my DIY Harry Potter inspired room decor video, so just click on the little eye on your screen right now to see how that's done. Okay, so once you've constructed your light box with an accuracy that even Sherlock can admire, print out the silhouettes of Watson and our legendary detective. Then take double-sided tape to tape down our dynamic duo because, well, who doesn't love these two? And once that's done, plug in your lights and now you are done! I hope you all enjoyed this video and make sure to comment down below which DIY was your favorite. Stay spirited and stay Sherlock. 
enjoy that video and if you did like I said before make sure in the comments down below to tell me which DIY was your favorite and also let me know who's your favorite Sherlock character also I have a huge secret announcement you guys and it's basically about wait what what, what what's going on what, what is this me